Hello artsy people and welcome to Krita. This is going to be a full length review of the wonderful program that this is. Uh, now this isn't going to be a tutorial on how to use it. Uh, I will probably do a video about that sooner or later. But for right now we're just going to be talking about Krita. So what exactly is Krita? Krita is basically a free open source drawing program in the similar vein to like GIMP or Paint Tool Sci and even uh, I've heard of being compared to Photoshop. Now in my personal opinion it's not as intuitive uh, as some of the Photoshop's uh, different different tools and applications but it is pretty it is pretty awesome on its own right. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a a brand new page to kind of show you what's up. Uh, I just click screen size because it, it, that just works for me and uh, also Krita has this awesome thing where you can basically uh, get down different templates for whatever document you want there's even manga there's like storyboard templates it's really awesome but enough on that so right from the get-go you'll realize that everything is is pretty neatly organized. Um, I actually have a custom workspace, but you can pretty much customize it the way you want to. Um, but let's just let's just see here. First, we got the the paint tools, which is the you know the standard fare. You have the freehand, the the rectangle, circle, polygon, all these amazing tools that let you do basically everything you you would want to do inside of a painting program. One thing that's really awesome about Krita is the fact that it actually it actually allows you to change the program depending on how your tablet is. And as you can see, you can put in the pressure sensitive sensitivity and so on and so forth. And this program also uses OpenGL, so your images will look nice and pretty. Though I have it turned off for the sake of this recording because for whatever reason OBS decides not to record in OpenGL. So one thing that's really cool about about Krita is the fact that you can actually customize your layers the way you want to, kind of the way you'd expect to in, in uh, Photoshop or any sort of other program like that. Doing line work and sketching is so easy in this program, it's unbelievable. And I'll go ahead and show you a few examples here, right quick. Let me just... And just as an example, I'm going to go ahead and show you what it's like to basically draw in Krita. Uh, I'm using currently a set of custom brushes but the ones inside the application itself work just fine but uh, if you would like to download the the custom brushes that I'm using for this uh, for this video I will go ahead and put a link in the description for you to use so I'm just going to badly sketch in a guy <laughs> and basically all Creating another layer is as simple as click and if you want to ink it, go ahead and bring down the opacity and it, everything is all nice and organized. One thing I don't like about Krita though is it's, it's lightweight, sure, but it's not as, as lightweight as it could be, in my opinion. I feel that if you would want a, a more easier experience in and learning how to digitally paint, I feel that Paint Tool Sci is a better option for you, but that's just my opinion. But overall, I think Krita is probably one of the better programs out there, especially for like for nothing, for you to spend like absolutely not a dime. It's a pretty good program. One more cool thing that Krita allows you to do is actually customize the brushes the way you'd want to. Uh, I actually have a custom made pixel art brush, which let me just go ahead and doodle around. 
and you can do all this yourself by let's go ahead and select something and right here and as you can see you have all of these options available to you uh, so there really is you really do have everything open to you uh, it's just it's just a matter of customizing the program and your brushes the way you'd want to and to paint and draw or whatever you plan on doing in a way that makes you feel comfortable overall my gripes with with Krita is of course it's not very lightweight it will throw people who've never seen Photoshop or GIMP or or any sort of digital painting program it will throw them off and feel kind of alienated and uh, but for those of you who kind of who kind of know uh, what it's like to paint digitally and you have a tablet ready to start go ahead and, and you know just drawing away then this program is fantastic it's a fabulous program like I said not as it doesn't have like as many intuitive tools as Photoshop in, in just my personal opinion uh, like the simple fact of if you want to rotate you have to press instead of pressing R in Photoshop and just dragging around you actually have to press control and then one of the brackets and it kind of splines in a in a preset direction which I, I personally don't like that I like to have a little bit more control over some, some of the things I do but that's just me uh, but yeah I mean it's a it's a really f great program if you if you want to kind of get something that's really awesome for free so anyway thank you all for watching I hope this video was informative to you and stay artsy